Okay, so today we're in the home shop. I got to fix my oil leak sitter, which is coming from the valve covers on the lawnmower. So I'm filming on the iPhone 6S today. Got a tripod mount for it now. So we're gonna try, I don't know how well it's gonna work. I'm gonna try and film this repair. So these valve covers don't have gaskets. This is RTV silicone. I really can't see nothing. Which is not what I was hoping for. There we go. So I'm going to try to change those valve cover gaskets today. On this lawnmower here, it's equipped with a Kohler engine, a 24 horsepower Kohler engine. So on this one here, I just pull one fuel line, keep it up, back out of the way. Okay. You got to pop the vacuum line off of your fuel pump. And then there's four T30 Torx bolts to hold the valve cover assembly to the head. So, put a drip pan down because when you pull the valve cover gas or pull the valve cover off, it's going to leak. Four T30 torques. Maybe going back together with this one by hand. Because our racket's about dead. So. Alright. Let me get the bolt set over there. Let me go put my charge battery on the charger. So I'll have some power to do so then. Okay, so I got the battery on the charge. Now these valve covers are stuck on pretty good. Um, I've had these off before to adjust the valves. I used the wrong type of sealant on these valve covers. So my sealant didn't hold. So I had to, I'm having to take it back off. Before I adjusted the valves, I didn't have any oil leaks. This was all an oil leak that I created. So, get that pulled off. I'll have to clean up my valve covers. As you can see, right here on the surface of the valve cover, it's real, real nasty. I'm gonna have to clean up the mating surface of the cylinder head. So I'll turn the camera back on after I get all that cleaned up, because that's gonna take a while. Okay. Got everything cleaned up. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm fixing to get ready to put the silicone glue on the valve cover. And then we'll reattach the valve cover to the head. Assuming I can get the glue to come out. I think the glue I got is a little old. Hopefully it'll seal off and won't leak. But I just bought this RTV glue today, so we can be hopeful. Alright. Nice thin coat all the way around. 
and it does matter the direction these valve cover gas their valve covers are only can be only installed in one direction and if you do that <laughs> which i did i made contact with the valve covers glue and the body panel you gotta start over and reseal your valve cover so keep your bolts handy it's always a good idea to have a helper if you can have one which i've got one sitting back behind the camera so colby looking top of my black rolling tool cart you should see a battery sitting in there on a charger. Get that battery out of that charger and bring me that battery. Don't always work the way I need it to. But you wanna get these run up slow. Now all I'm doing with this is just running it up. Not gonna use this to tighten it. Tighten it by hand. Run them up snug. I'm not going to tighten. Like I said, I'm not tightening it with the ratchet. I'm going to tighten it all by hand. I just wanted to run them up with the ratchet so that I could get them all run up quick enough for it to sell off. I'm going to come back with the ratchet and finish snugging them all down. So I'm not going to run this engine because I got to go seal the other side and I'm going to let it sit. But on this side here, hook your vacuum line to your fuel pump back up. Now I took both sides off of the fuel pump. Took the carburetor line off and put it back on. This is a line that comes from the tank and put it back on. So this side is done. It's tight. It's resealed. I'm going to clean off this side here and move on to the other side. I'm not going to film the other side because it's the same process and the other side's a lot easier. So I'm just going to move over to the other side. I'm going to get it done. And when I start back filming on the lawnmower again, it'll all be dry and we'll be ready to run. Okay. We lost a little bit of oil. We didn't lose a lot of oil, but we lost some. Also, I gotta get a fuel line for this uh, chainsaw. But I did a valve cover gasket on the line more. It's running, it works great. I'm gonna probably turn this into a vlog, so I'll probably film more later. Alrighty, bringing the lawnmower back to the shop. Squeezer up in here, close that it's still alive. So there's a chainsaw, it's gotta have a carburetor. Old Kubota that we're working on, old Kubota. Old Kubota. Old Kubota needs a lot of help. So I'll tell the story on old Kubota here in just a little bit. Can't get my dang toolbox put back because there's a transmission in the way. That and a lot of this is worse because I had a little one out here playing while I'm working on the lawnmower. There we go. My toolbox is out of the way. So we're getting the Kubota out here in a little while after we get it fixed. Um, I got a Ford 3930 that's going in next. In between the Kubota going out and the 3930 going in, I got to clean the shop. Got a pretty long work order on the 3930. Uh, 
dipstick tube is bent going to the rear end he wants that replaced he just bought this tractor used so he wants us to check the belts radiator hoses he wants him replaced he wants the hydraulic fluid in the rear end and transmission changed the throttle you can see it goes down but it pops back up needs some work and then the bush hog gearbox is making some noise so it's making a roaring a roaring noise coming out of the gearbox so probably need probably gonna wind up needing some bearings put in the gearbox probably overhaul the gearbox my new phone case finally came in fixing to get cleaned up you can't see me because of the sunlight fixing to get cleaned up uh, and head to town so we'll see what happens i'm going to charge the camera up i'm going to take the camera with me i'm going to pull some of this footage off because i do want to turn this video into an all-day vlog i just don't know if i'm gonna do the video for the valve covers on the lawnmower i don't know if i'm gonna make out its own separate video or what i got mud and dirt on me just pressure washed the uh just pressure washed the lawnmower got it a lot cleaner than it was gotta install some new blades uh i don't know what else i gotta do to it anyway i'm gonna go in and get cleaned up charge the camera up because the camera's almost dead and i'll film more here in a little bit Okay, so we're trying to go to Rubens. I can't film because other people won't hush, namely those people and those people back behind me. I don't know where we're going after that. Time's broke. But we're going to we're going to Rubens to eat anyway. I might film some while we're there. I don't know. We'll see. They've been open for 15 minutes, so there's gonna be a line out the door. Okay, so after an old man messed my recording up, uh, we're walking in a place he shouldn't be walking. We're almost at Rubens. And there is a bunch of people here. So I don't think I'm gonna film once we get inside, we'll see. Having to dodge potholes. Should have took my truck. Anyway, I'll film more when we're leaving we're leaving Rubens now $70 later we're all full so they want to go try Baskin Robbins so they're going we're going to ride around for a little bit let the food settle and we might go try some ice cream at Baskin Robbins I don't know we'll see Okay, so we're still killing time. U.S. government property, no trespassing. We're at the Columbus Lock and Dam. The water's still up so high from all the floods that the water's still on one of the catwalks down there. This is as far as we can go. I can't go past that because of government property no trespassing this is the high side of the dam you can see the ripples right there where the water is being taken into the dam and put out the other side okay so hobby lobbies back there behind us madison's walking that way we're going to get in the car now. That was fun. Walmart still hasn't got our stuff ready, so I don't know what we're doing next. Okay, so we are sitting here at Walmart. We're doing the whole Walmart pickup thing. We're in stall three. Can't see it, but way deep down in that ditch down there, there's a bunch of shopping carts in the ditch. They started like right there where those are, but they're down in the ditch. So. Okay, so it's 10.30 at night. 
I'm wrapping this video up. I'm fixing to edit here. Pull it up. I'm fixing to edit. Uh, we're going to walk the walking trail in downtown Columbus tomorrow, the river walk. So I'm going to bring the camera with me and I'm going to film that. I'm also going to work some tomorrow, I'm putting some more paneling up. So I uh, might film some of that. Yeah. We'll see. See what happens. Thanks for watching.